Hello, this is Dean Zeller, and this is a special video on how to copy and paste into your portfolio. These are the six different ways I'm going to show how to copy into your portfolio. Uh, there are many different ways to do it, and each, each assignment that you complete has a different way of doing it. So, uh, here it is in this order. First, I'm going to do just a regular old copy and paste. Uh, from any uh, document, you can do a copy and paste. It might not work the way you think it does. Uh, here I have a survey, just like the survey assignment. Uh, and I'm going to select all the text and just do a regular old copy and paste. So I'm going to select the text, uh, do a copy. Then I'm going to go into my portfolio. This is a typical portfolio that you would see uh, for my class. And I'm going to go here and just do a regular old paste. And unfortunately, you can see that it totally ruins your formatting. Uh, any of the formatting that I had in there is, is uh, totally gone. So I'm going to show you a different way to do that in a little bit, uh, where it uses, instead of the paste, it uses a paste special. But we'll get back to that. Uh, if you have a picture on the internet, uh, here's a, a picture. I don't know what these are. They look like, hmm, it look, looks pretty good. So if there's a picture here that you would like to put in there, uh, then I'm going to click on uh, this one. Brings up the picture, and you want to do a right click and copy. That copies the image. Then you can put it in your portfolio just with a regular old paste. And some, you might have to move it or resize it to put it in position, uh, but that generally works. Uh, you might need to do a paste special, it depends on, on the type of image. Um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, the uh, copy from uh, the survey didn't work correctly. So now I'm going to show you how to do a copy and paste using Paste Special. So I'm going to copy all my text again, copy, come back to my portfolio, go to another page. Instead of cl click on the Paste button, you click on the Paste arrow, and then the last one down here is Paste Special. It does have some options here. I don't use them very much. Uh, here's Paste Special. And the second one down here is called Word Document Object. It puts a little miniature Word document inside of your portfolio. This tends to work in, in many cases. Unfortunately, for some reason, it didn't get the border that was uh, in uh, the, the, the survey. So it didn't get this border. I don't know why it doesn't, but oh well. So uh, that's one way you can do it. Um, another way that uh, we can do it uh, is right here. I did, I did the document object. You can always paste it as a bitmap. This is very handy uh, during certain times. Uh, so let's go back to the survey. I'm going to select the survey text and do a copy. Come back to the portfolio. To come to the other side. I'm going to do a paste special and this time paste it as a picture. Bitmap uh, is another option that could be in there. You can always paste it as a picture. That sometimes works. Again, it didn't do the border correctly. Uh, let's do this from Excel. Uh, in Excel, here I have a floor plan, and for some reason the copy and paste does not work very well with Excel. So here is my floor plan. I'm going to do a copy and back to the portfolio. Uh, if I just do a regular old paste, not only does it take a while, it takes a long while, hopefully not too long, but when it puts it in, it doesn't put in everything correctly. Okay, anytime now. It'll be here very soon. There we go. Gee, it only took 15 seconds. Not only did it not get everything, but gee, it did resized all my icons and put them in weird places. So for some reason, the copy and paste with your floor plan is not going to work. Uh, and so a better way to do it is instead of using the paste, uh, uh, instead of using the regular paste, use paste special. Paste as a bitmap. Here's a bitmap here. It makes the picture, it might make it a little bit large for your screen, so you're going to have to resize it. But it just makes it a picture. It's a lot easier to work with. So always consider paste special as a bitmap as an option. Okay, let's get back to the survey. Uh, here I have my survey. And I need to get my survey as, as uh, readable as possible. This isn't going to be very good because of my small screen. Uh, but we're going to do a screenshot of this. 
And so I'm going to go back to my portfolio, go to a new slide, and I'm going to do this uh, insert screenshot. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to do insert screenshot screen clipping. Screen clipping brings me back to the last uh, most recently done window. Uh, and basically you click and drag to make a selection. And you're going to take a picture of that. Snap. And it puts it right in there. Uh, keep in mind, if we uh, zoom in a little bit, it does even capture this uh, yellow under or red underlining. Uh, so you want you want your picture to look as good as possible. It does put in the cursor, uh, but it does uh, have everything in there that, that you would need. So insert screenshot screen clipping is always available. When you do a screenshot, uh, you can put in the entire window. Here's the uh, floor plan again. If I do the uh, floor plan using uh, just this. Notice that it puts in all these icons and stuff. And, and in your portfolio, I only want to see the content. I don't want to see any of these icons. So it's okay to do this. You just have to crop away the stuff that isn't uh, relevant. So here's the crop button. I use this all the time. I'm going to click on crop. And now we can get rid of the things that we don't want just by clicking on these little tabs here. Get rid of everything that isn't content. I don't want to see any numbers. I don't want to see any uh, icons, anything like that. Then when you're done, click off of it and accept it. Uh, keep in mind that all this stuff is still there, so if you need to uncrop it to bring it back, you can. Uh, and this also does uh, uh, increase your file size. Not that that's that big of a deal now, but uh, that's always a concern sometimes. All right, so how many of these do we cover? Uh, I did uh, copy and paste. Copy and paste special is a document object. Copy and paste special is bitmap. Uh, insert screenshot screen clipping. Insert screenshot uh, the window and then crop. Here's the print screen. Uh, in case you only have Office 2007, it does not have this screenshot uh, window. So one other thing you can do is to use the print screen button on the keyboard. I'm hitting it right now. Click. And it basically takes a picture of your entire screen. Then you can go into a program called Windows Paint, which many of you have used before. Here's the, the standard Windows Paint window, and I'll do a paste. Here's a copy of my screen, the entire thing, and then you can use the Select button to select only a piece of it. So in case you need to take a screenshot of anything, I'll just copy this piece of it. Let me do the selection again. I'm going to select this, this piece of it, do a copy, go into your portfolio, you slide and do a paste. Okay, one thing I forgot to cover on this uh, original copy and paste, uh, let's say you have a PowerPoint document that you need to put in your portfolio. So here is a just a very short presentation, three slides, demo presentation, how to do it, and then you're done. If you want to put all three of these slides in your portfolio, you can do so. Now here's here's my portfolio, and I want to put it uh, right here in between slides 17 and 18. So I'm going to click on slide 17. You can actually do this all at once. So here, uh, uh, over here with the slides, I'm going to click on the first one and then shift click on the last one to get all three of them selected. And you, know, you can do this with any number. If there's 50 slides, that's fine. Now I can just do a regular copy, come back to your portfolio, and I'm going to do a paste right here. And notice that it put it in there right as I right uh, right where I had it. It's not going to copy the backgrounds, and so so you might have to reformat the backgrounds and stuff. Uh, but you know that's this is how to uh, do copy and paste into your portfolio. I hope this uh, helped answer some questions. Uh, but if you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.